welcome back. Sorry about last week. I didn't put anything up because I was on set with 52 Weeks of Horror shooting a horror movie of awesomeness and blood and guts and all of that type of fun thing. So eventually I'll put some footage on this channel once I'm allowed to post things like that. Sadly, in the film industry, you can't post stuff before it's out to the public, you know, because that's... I would just spoil the surprise. But this week what we're going to do is try out one of the products I got at the 99 cent store. I know, that sounds cheap, but I it was something I figured I'd try out. I've never tried it out before. I've heard other people try it out. So I figured why not? I'll show you guys what I think on this, even though I'm probably like a decade late on this. So what we're going to try out is Magnetics Nail Polish. Magnetics, that my lights are totally too shiny. Magnetics nail polish. Hopefully that's in focus. Anyway, what it comes with is your normal nail polish. And then it also comes with a sticker that fell off of the <laughs> bottle. But it also comes with these two magnets. Now I don't want to get the magnets too close to the camera even though they're probably not high powered because if I break this camera, then I get in trouble. <laughs> it comes with these two fun little magnets, but this one, this one has these zigzaggy lines like that. Not, not really zigzag. This one has some slanted lines, and the other one has fun little waves. So that's what the magnets look like, and I'm really excited to try this out. It sounds like a cool thing. From what I understand you're supposed to put the nail polish on your nail and then for about 15 seconds hold the magnet over it. Hopefully that works. I guess there's some type of iron or something in it. Which probably makes me sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. Cause I don't. Normally I don't wear nail polish, but that's more of I'm constantly hitting my nails on things, doing, cause I build molds for special effects things, or I'm constantly working with chemicals, not straight on my hands, but I use my hands a lot. Therefore, attempting to do nail polish just is pointless because it chips. I don't expect this to stay on too long because it is a 99 cent nail polish. Although, if you think about it, most nail polishes are less than two dollars. Most. I'm not talking about like the OPI stuff because that is definitely not two dollars. Good stuff! Just not two dollars. We'll give this a go and see what it does. Alright, so please don't give me crap about how my nails look, Mom, because I have tried so hard to keep these decent. Mom, I'm sorry my nails are a mess. As I said before, I'm not a nail person. Look how hard it is to keep these in focus. So, we got our nail polish. Let's start with one nail. Computer turn back on. Good for it. Alright. So we got a decent coat on on there. And we gotta hold this over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's what it gave us. Wait, put some wavy lines in that. How cool is that? Let's try another one. Everyone I'm related to is gonna give me crap about how my nails look. Ooh, I like that. Look at that stuff. It's all zigzaggy. Sorry about my lights reflecting in it, but it... But, oh yeah, it's, I don't know, don't know why I keep calling it zigzaggy. It is 
diagonal. We got the wavy one and the diagonal one. Let's see if I can make, <laughs> try the wavy one one more time, make it look better. There we go, much better. Check this out. See, that is way better. I can't keep my fingers in the camera to save my life. That's pretty cool. Ultimately, I think it's a pretty decent product. I mean, for 99 cents, I mean, I'm not going to complain too much about it. It's neat. It looks pretty. I probably wouldn't be able to wear this too long because, like I said, I chip my nails easier than any person on the face of the planet. But it's, it's pretty cool. I'm digging this. This is neat. I pretty much give it a 5 out of 5. I mean, it does what it says it's supposed to do, and it looks cool. Actually, I probably, now thinking of it three seconds later, i probably give it maybe a 4 out of 5. I would have probably liked the to see different kinds of stamps. It might just be because it's the 99 cent store, but they really only had waves and diagonal stamps and all that. I probably I would have probably liked to see different shapes. I don't know if they do. I don't not that I really want stars or anything like that in my nails, but it would have been cool to see some different type of things. Maybe they have them at different stores. I don't know. I've never really tried this out. Actually, I'm pretty sure they have different designs at different stores. 99 cent store from what I understand kind of just gets things and then they're gone. So yeah, either way, four out of five, that's not too bad. Next week, I think, next week we're gonna try out a few more 99 cent store products. I'm thinking we're gonna do a spa day type thing, as much as you can get at the 99 cent store, but we're going to try out one of those facial tissue paper mask things which I see everybody try out. I've never tried one before. Hopefully I will not break out like the one video with the mud mask. I really hope not because two videos where I try on like cleansing masks. I think what is it? It's a collagen. Never tried anything like that. Anyway two things where I try that out. I guess this would be the third and turn red. I don't, I don't really want that, but I will try that out for you guys because you guys obviously like me and tune in for a reason. If not, just to see my face turn red. Um, we're also going to try out moisturizing socks. This is a thing too. You just, I guess, just slip them on and can't have socks without gloves. So we're gonna try out all of those on the next episode next week. So I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry it was fast. Sorry it was quick. Sorry my face looks a little messy, but that's just because I've been on set for a whole week and sweat and grossness and you know, all that fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Put comments down below. Tell me if you've tried out magnetic nail polish. Tell me if there's something you want me to try out. Thumbs up. If anything, mom, put a nice comment down below and share this <laughs> to all your friends. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks, bye. <laughs>